As a retoucher who just started retouching, it was very hard to learn focus separation, especially micro dodge and bone. In fact, I avoided using micro dodge and bone for a very long time. I was stuck with focus separation. But I knew I had to learn how to use micro dodge and bone so that I can actually level up my retouching game and get more clients. So after much learning and practicing, I finally understand how dodge and bone works and actually know how to use dodge and bone to retouch my image. Oh wait, it's not over yet. And just when I thought my retouching quality has improved, I was faced with a more challenging situation. And that is how can I deliver high quality pictures to clients in a short period of time. Even though you get a better result when using micro dodge and bone, but it takes hours to actually retouch just one image using micro dodge and bone. Now imagine you have just 48 hours to deliver 10 high quality edits to a client. And also you have multiple clients. My biggest problem was time. So although my retouch quality was better, I was still losing clients because I could not deliver on time. Fast forward, all that changed when I saw this particular video on Pixie Fafest YouTube channel about how the retouch on me actually works. And the retouch on me plugin literally changed the way I did it, I'm not even going to lie. And the micro dodge and bone inside that plugin, it's really amazing. In fact, it was even better than what I was doing manually. So what I spent hours to do, in just one click of a button, this plugin is going to do it for me even more better. I'm going to show you how the micro dodge and bone inside this new plugin works for different image in a second. My point is, the retouch for me actually gives me quality edits and at the same time saves me a lot of time and I can get more clients and deliver high quality edits within a short period of time. Now let me show you how it works if you don't already know. So once you put your image inside of Photoshop, all you have to do is just duplicate your layer by pressing on Ctrl J and after you install the plugin, and by the way, if you want to get this plugin, if you use the link in the shop below, you're going to get 20% off any purchase you make. So once you download that plugin and install it, just come to your filter right here. Just click on Retouch on Me and click on Dodge and Burn right here. Once you click on Dodge and Burn, you're just going to analyze your image and just do your micro dodge and burn for you just like that instead of spending hours doing it. Alright, we are done. It has done the micro dodge and burn for us. So if I just zoom in, you can see this is the before and the after, the before and the after. Now if you feel the effect is not enough, you can just come to your blend right here and just take the blend all the way up until you feel it's okay. So like this works for me, this is the before and this is the after. So I'm just going to click on okay. So instead of spending hours doing micro dodge and burn, you can actually do it with this plugin. Now micro dodge and burn is just a part of what this plugin can do. Now if I zoom in inside this image, you can see the blemishes of this image. So instead of spending time removing the blemishes, you can just remove it using this retouch on me plugin. And to do that, I'm going to create a serviceable layer by pressing the Ctrl Shift Alternate E. Once I do that, I'm going to come to my filter, I come to my retouch on me, and I'm just going to click on Heal right here. And once I click on this Heal right here, it's just going to remove the blemishes for me. So if I just zoom in right now, you can see the blemishes of this image are no longer there. So this is the before and this is the after. The before and the after, and I'm just going to click on OK. All right, now let me just group everything I did so you can see. So, Ctrl G, this is the before and this is the after. Wow. The before and the after. You can see it has saved you a lot of time. Now, let's try it for this image right here. So, for this image right here, I'm just going to press on Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. Now, let's remove the blemishes for this image. So, come back to my filter again. Come to my retouch for me and just click on Heal right here. So, you can see within seconds, it's just going to remove the blemishes for me. All right. So, let me just zoom right now so you can see. Now, this is the before and this is the after. Just take a look at this image. So, this is the before and the after. The before and the after. And I'm going to click on apply right here. Now, let's do the micro dodge and burn. Instead of spending one hour or 30 minutes doing micro dodge and burn, if you are good at it, just press on Ctrl Shift Alternate E. Create a serviceable layer. Come back to your filter. Come back to your retouch on me. And click on dodge and burn right here. Now, I'm just going to analyze the image. And like I said earlier, do the micro dodge and burn for us. It has done the micro dodge and burn. Wow. So, this is the before and the after. The before and the after. So, I'm going to move this blend in. So, I'm going to move this blend up a little bit to make the effects more intense. Like so. So, the before and the after. You can see how smooth this image is looking already. So, I'm going to click on apply and just group them so you can see the before and after. So, this is the before and this is the after. Now, let's try it on the full body shot so you can see. So, let's try it on this full body shot right here. So, I'm going to duplicate my background layer by pressing on Ctrl J. Once I duplicate it, I'm not going to come to my filter, come to retouch on me and just click on dodge and burn right here. And you're going to see the magic. 
Okay, it has finished processing. So if I just zoom in, you can see it has already returned this image for us. So this is the before and the after. <laughs> the before and the after. So just click on apply right here. So this is the before and this is the after. So if I just zoom in on the eyes, you can see those parts right here. The before and the after. Also, you can do the same thing with the blemishes. Just press your control shift alternate E and just remove the blemishes. Come to filter, retouch on me and click on heal right here. I'm just going to remove the blemishes for us in just one click. And after it has finished loading, I'm just going to click on apply and show you the before and after for the blemishes. If I just zoom in, you can see the hand right here, the before and the after. The blemishes are no longer there. Just take a look at the face, the before and the after. Take a look at the blemishes right here. So, the before and the after, the before and the after. Now you can actually do the heal, the dodge and burn, and also micro dodge and burn. Basically, you can actually retouch your image in just one click. I have an action for that. So let me just play the action so you can see. So I'm going to delete this group right here. And just duplicate the layer by pressing on Ctrl J. Once I duplicate that layer, I come back to my action and just click on this retouch on me right here. Once I play this action, this retouch on me action is just going to help me do my micro dodge and burn. It's going to remove the blemishes. It's also going to help me try and fix the eyes to make the eyes look even more better and also do my global dodge and burn for me. And the good part about this is that you don't have to spend time actually removing the blemishes on doing micro dodge and burn. It just one click. It's going to do everything for you. So we are done. So see, see the before and the after. The before and the after is just one click. And if you want to watch an in-depth tutorial about how the retouch on me actually works, click on this situation right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.